Of je zoekt de avonturen, herschrijft de code. 60% van agua. I'm really rarely on this side of the river. Pretty much everything that I do happens on that side of the river. So I don't really come over here. That's where like everything sort of happens. That's where all the famous landmarks are, at least most of them. But then if you actually want the best view of everything, you should really come to this side of the river and look at it from here. Perspective. Or something like that. I don't know. Read into it what you will. Oh, I got, I got, I got one. Um, sometimes you have to step back from something to really be able to see it at all. <laughs> yeah, I'll, cut, I'll like cut that in somehow. <laughs> Of je volgt de avontuur En dan, you never know, never know, never know. Geen controle, geen controle Systeem autonoom Zelfrijdend vehikel Ben ik een lengel of een droom Staat alles al geschreven Of is er nog wat ruimte over Moleskine van het leven ah, No, ik mijn droom We staan voornamelijk uit water Stromen zit in de aarde Oh, okay. Our house is a mess, for the most part. Not sleeping great still, but better. And the biggest news of all is I go back to work in like two days. And that's when life like really starts again. I think that's been the weirdest part is that we've gone through this huge life change, but we've also sort of put life on pause. Like normal life, at least. I'm sure every parent goes through something similar. Ooh, yeah, good point. Sort of Luca's first like monologue to camera as well, so. Gotta start him early. Now the big challenge, the big change is like, what is normal? life look like. Eventually we'll both be working, we'll have to figure out a schedule, we'll have to trust other people to watch him for us. I know like people who have been parents for a while already probably have heard and thought all of this stuff already before, but damn. And you always think it's gonna be easier until it happens to you. And then, not so easy. Not so easy at all. Sonnenstrahlen krabbeln über meine Hand, ja Mein Telefon am Klingeln, doch ich gehe nicht ran Frag mich, warum ich keine Angst hab Ich glaub, es wird schon alles werden, irgendwie, irgendwann Ja, jeder Tag wird schon We became parents just in time for Mother's Day and Father's Day How was your first Mother's Day? It was great It was great? Yeah, it was great Did you feel like a mother on Mother's Day? Of course, I had a baby, so I have I guess that is like the only qualifying factor. <laughs> and for Mother's Day we did a little like picnic in the park. And for Father's Day, all I want is a beer. So we're going to go get a beer right now. And breakfast. I did want breakfast. But I always want breakfast. I didn't I didn't ask for mimosa. I didn't ask for <laughs> Yeah, stage the shot for me. I can't see what you're seeing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or is it, does it matter what I say, or are you just getting me talking? I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to say, you can Oh, well I was going to talk about, because um, this involves you, I would like you to potentially have to be by yourself with our son for 
five to eight hours because Mama would like to get her hair braided before we go to America. So, <laughs> breaking news. Breaking news. Are you ready for that? <laughs> On Father's Day, of all days, she tells me. Today. <laughs> Can't see him. He's <laughs> so sweet. He's just like. Alright, ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our most recent stage of Luca. It's the I only want to be in the carrier, I don't want to be in the stroller. No, who likes to be in the stroller but only sleep in the carrier? Yeah, that's true. Honestly, that's a, of the things that have changed. <laughs> One of the things that's changed the most is anytime we go and hang out somewhere, half of the time is us like, I'll say no, I'll say 30% of the time is us just being like, yeah, we're here, we're hanging out, we're vibing, and then the other 60 to 70% is like, okay, do you, how should we wear him? Should you wear him? Should we be in the stroller? Should he be feeding? Is he hungry? Is he cold? Is he warm? And he doesn't care. We, we care a lot, but he's, he actually probably doesn't care as much as we care. <laughs> Now we're on the other side of the Rhine. It is eight in the morning and I'm going back to work. See how I like flipped the perspective thing again? We were on that and then we came. I didn't do that on purpose. It sort of just happened that way. I wish I was that sort of like smart of a filmmaker. I'm not. I'm so fing tired. <laughs> Get used on the weg met mijn little one. Allebei dezelfde trainer aan. Ben stiller dan ik vroeger was, bevalt me wel. Weinig woorden looking like the Royal Tenenbaums. 100 jaar in the game, nog steeds niet relevant. Elephant in the room, never never land. Stijg op, hoop dat ik never ever land. Groei sneller aan de buiten dan de binnenkant. Binnenlandse funk maakt de rap interessant. Daarom is de man nog steeds quasi nonchalant. Maar van binnen koken kan ze quasi op de dam. Waarom zijn mijn medelanders soms zo irritant? So the, uh, the new like post-pandemic policy at my company is that everybody comes in three days a week to the office to like, you know, increase collaboration and things like that. And uh, I made the naive mistake of coming in on a Friday and nobody's fucking here. <laughs> Who am I going to collaborate with? All right, I just got home from work, and <laughs> Amber's out with Luca, I think, because I don't hear anything in here. And I'll show you how the house ends up when one parent <laughs> is left alone to fight for their life with a, with a baby. There's just, there's just stations of, of things just sort of all over the place. You can see like, <laughs> All the different spots he's been all day. I could trace his steps everywhere. There's a little napping bed. So it looks like he was playing over here. It looks like he was playing over here. Looks like uh, when she had to do her makeup or something, he was in here. <laughs> his bath is in the thing. This kid has totally taken over. He has completely and utterly taken this place over. smoothie out of an elf beer glass. Yes, I am. Are you judging me for it? I don't know. I don't think you should, though. It's like the perfect... I think all beer glasses are like the perfect size to hold just the right amount of 
any drink, basically. And if you want more, you just you just pound a couple more, just like you do with the beer. So, like I said, my parental leave is officially over for now. Amber's doing full-time mom thing, and I'm back at work for the time being. And then at the end of the summer, we're gonna switch, and I'm actually gonna go back on leave for like another couple months. The main reason being that I'm gonna be in charge of, ooh, <laughs> this is gonna fall. <laughs> oh, that was like, I had it framed exactly how I wanted it, but I guess that still works. This is what we're, this is what we're dealing with right now. Movie magic. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, so I'm gonna do this like, transition phase that they do at daycares here called the Berlin model where you go with the kid to the daycare or the nanny or the kindergarten and you stay there with them like longer and longer each day and each week until they're adjusted and you can leave and they're fine. Another interesting difference for America. When I was younger you just toss the kid straight in. Sink or swim. But back to this thing that I've been ham-handedly forcing into different parts of this video. Perspective. I think anytime you start a new season or a new chapter of life, it inherently forces you to have some perspective on what's come before. And that changes the way you view the things that happened just before. When we moved here, I definitely saw this like moving abroad, starting a life in a different country was its own self-contained chapter of my life. But it turns out it wasn't. Now being a father for the first time, I've put another layer in there, and it, it doesn't feel like I've closed the chapter completely, but it does feel like the storyline has really evolved. <laughs> it also made me really just reflect on how lucky I've been to have the experiences that I've had over the last, like, three years. And I can't believe that it's only been three years. Not even. It's not even been exactly three years yet since we've moved here, but it feels like it's its own lifetime, almost. I've talked before in the video I made about the truth about moving abroad that the best piece of advice I can give is to try and keep that sense of wonder in your everyday experiences that you first have when you show up in a new place. Embracing unexpected things, finding joy in stuff that is sometimes really, really small but surprises you. Living in another country in a lot of ways is like re-experiencing and relearning life all over again. And if living in another country makes me feel that way, Parenthood is doing that tenfold. <laughs> so far, becoming a dad has helped me follow my own advice so much more, and it's finding the interest and the joy and the strangeness in the everyday things again. Because I get to watch somebody else do it for the very first time. A lot of the experiences that I've had in Germany, and this one especially, remind me a lot of one of my favorite quotes that was from Chicago Mayor Daly when they unveiled a very controversial statue from Pablo Picasso in downtown Chicago. People thought it was super, super ugly, but Daly said was that we're dedicating this statue with the belief that what is strange to us today will be familiar tomorrow. That was really meant to be a positive thing that, don't worry, this looks weird now, but it'll be familiar soon enough and you'll start to like it. And while that's true, and while I think that that can be true of a lot of things in life, I want to embrace the strange right now, because the strange is sort of what keeps life interesting. Yeah, we'll say that's what this was about. Cool? All good? See you next time. Hey, blue sky, so weit das Auge reicht. Mama schreit, Schatz, zu Hause schneit. Rooftop Story im Designerkleid. Hm, es ist wieder Zeit für ein Smile. Und du weißt nicht genau, wie lang du hier noch allein bist in diesem Land. Du bist irgendwann los vom Siemensdamm. Für ein Leben, für ein Shooting im goldenen Wüstensand.